Hello friends, hope you all are doing great today. In this video, let me take you to the times of the World War II. So, the time was tense. Every country had deployed spy units around the world. And do you know how these countries used to communicate to their spy units? Let's have a look. This is a newspaper article from 1939 in England. And it read something like this. On the 1st of March, six army men were martyred and their x-rays were missing. Now, can you decipher the code hidden in this message? Look at the numbers here. The 1st of March, 01, 03, six men, 06, and you have an X here. Now, if you connect the series, the value of X would, be, would come as 10. So that was the code hidden in the message. And it meant that the next attack had to be done on the 10th of that month. Welcome to number sequences. Are there any concepts in this topic? There definitely are. Most of the number sequences in series questions are based on three concepts. Concept number one, difference. Concept number two, multiples. And concept number three, squares, cubes and higher powers. Definitely there are some more types of questions also, but broadly this topic can be classified into these three topics. So let's go one by one. Concept number one, difference. Here, all you need to do is to find the difference between every other number and there'll be a pattern in that. So I'm dividing this concept into some sub-concepts. So let's start with type one. So let's take this example. 7, 11, 16, 22, dash. Can you find the difference between these numbers? The difference between 7 and 11 is 4. The next difference is 5, the next is 6, and the next obviously should be 7. So your answer would be 22 plus 7, that is 29. So here, the differences are increasing by 1. That's the concept here. Type 2. Have a look at the series. 8, 10, 14, 22. 38 question mark now try to find out the difference between the numbers the difference between 8 and 10 is 2 the next difference is 4 the next 8 next 16 so can you see a pattern here basically every other difference is 2 times the previous one like 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16. So the next difference would be 2 times 16, that is 32. So your answer would be 38 plus 32, that is 70. The next pattern, type 3, have a look at the series, 10, 15, 21, 26, 32, question mark. Try to find out the difference between the numbers. The difference between the first two numbers is 5. The next difference is 6. The next difference is a 5 again. See, it's getting repeated. The next difference is 6. Can you see a pattern here? 5, 6, 5, 6. So the next difference would be a 5 again. So your answer should be 32 plus 5, that is 37. This pattern is called the ABAB pattern because only two numbers get repeated over the series. So the next one is type number 4. Have a look at the series. 12, 17, 23, 30, 35, question mark. Try to find out the difference between the numbers. The first difference is that of 5. Then 
6. The next difference is 7. And the next one again is a 5. So can you see the pattern being repeated here? 5, 6, 7, again a 5. So the next difference should be obviously a 6 because it's repeated. So your answer would be 35 plus 6, that is 41. Now this pattern is called the ABC ABC pattern because there are three numbers, 5, 6, 7, and again the first one repeats. That is a pattern repeats itself. So this pattern is the ABC ABC pattern. Type 5. Have a look at the series. 11, 17, 18, 9, 26, 0, question mark. Now, this series seems to be a very random one. But, there is a pattern in it. Look at the alternate terms of the series. That is, look at the first term, the third term, and the fifth term. That is, 11, 18, and 26. Try to find the difference between these numbers. It is 7 and 8. So the next difference would be that of 9. So 26 plus 9, your answer would be 35. Similarly, look at the even terms of the series. That is the second, the fourth and the sixth. They also have a pattern. The difference between the second and the fourth term is minus 8. And that of the fourth and the sixth term is minus 9. So basically this question was on a mixed series in which two series were mixed with each other. Let's go to type 6. So the series 14, 25, 43, 71, 112, 169, question mark. Now, try to find out the difference between the numbers. So, the first difference is 11, 18, 28, 41, 57. Is there a pattern here? No? Okay, let's call these numbers at level 1. Uh, let's try to do one thing. Let's try to find the difference between these numbers. The numbers at level 1. So the difference between 11 and 18 would be 7. The next difference would be 10. The next difference is 13. And the next would be 16. Is there a pattern here? No. Okay, so let's call these numbers say level 2 and try to find the difference between them again. So let's go to level 3. So at level 3, the differences would be 3, 3, and 3. Okay, so is there a pattern here now? Yes, we are getting a pattern, 3, 3, 3. So let's try to continue this pattern. So the fourth number here would again be a 3. Now, if you add this 3 to the last number at level 2, you will get 19. If you add this 19 to the last number at level 1, that is 57, you will get 76. Lastly, if you add 76 to the last number in the series, that is 169, you will get your answer, that is 245. This type of question is called an inverted pyramid or a multi-level difference question. Let's go to concept number two, that is questions based on multiples. Have a look at the series. 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, question mark. Here, if you have a closer look at the series, you need not find the difference between the consecutive numbers, rather you just see Every next term is 2 times the previous term, like 8 is 2 times 4, 16 is 2 times 8, 32 is 2 times 16, and so on. So your answer would be 
2 times 64, that is 128. But questions in the exam may not be as easy as this. Questions can be twisted something like this. So, let's take a new series, 4. Now, I'll multiply this number by 2 and add something to it, say 1 to it. So, 4 into 2 plus 1 is 9. 9 into 2 plus 1 would be 19. 19 into 2 plus 1, 39. And 39 into 2 plus 1 would be your answer, that is 79. Now let's see how else can this question be changed. Let's take an example. 4 into 2 plus 1, 9 into 2 plus 2, 20 into 2 plus 3, 43 into 2 plus 4, that's your answer, 90. So here if you see, the number that is getting added, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, we are changing these numbers. We are not keeping it constant as the previous question. How else can we twist this question? Why can't we change the multiple itself? Like here, every time the multiple is that of 2. In the next question, let's see how that can be changed. Let's take the next example. 4 into 2 plus 1, 9 into 3 plus 1, 28, into 4 plus 1, 113. Here if you see, the multiple itself is getting changed. That is, we are not keeping it constant at 2, but we are rather changing it 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now the last level, when the multiple as well as the number that is getting added, both are changed. The series will look something like this. 4 into 2 plus 1, 9 into 3 plus 2, 29 into 4 plus 3, 119. So this could be the last level where the number that is getting multiplied as well as the number that is being added are changed. Now there would be a question in your mind like how to differentiate between a question based on difference and a question based on multiples. Here is how you can do. Look at the two series. Series number 1, 7, 11, 16, 22, 29. Here you can see that there is a gradual increase in the every next number. That is. This series increases slowly. Whereas, have a look at this series. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. Here you can see that the series increases rapidly. So, can we say that whenever there is a rapid increase in the series, most probably it would be on multiples. And when there is a gradual change in the series, it's based on difference. Concept number three, squares, cubes and higher powers. Now have a look at the series. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, question mark. Uh, do you remember these numbers? These are special numbers. They are not any normal numbers. Yes, they are squares of numbers. So the first one is 1 square. 4 is 2 square. 9 is 3 square. 16 is 4 square. 25 is 5 square. So your answer should be 6 square. That is 36. Now, can, these, can this question be twisted a bit? Why not? See, I'll just add 1 to all these numbers so that you cannot relate them directly to squares and twist the series. So if I add 1 to all these numbers, the series would look something like this. 2, 5, 10, 17 and 26. So this may confuse you, but 
This is nothing but all the perfect squares plus 1. So you should be able to identify this. Look at this question. 1, 8, 27, 64, question mark. These numbers are nothing but the cubes of, perfect cubes of numbers. Like 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27 and 4 cubed is 64. So your answer should be 5 cubed, that is 125. Now let's try to solve some difficult questions on squares and cubes. For that, we have the squares chart and the cubes chart for you. So we have squares of numbers from 1 to 30 here and cubes of numbers from 1 to 10 here. And you have to memorize all these numbers because without these, you cannot solve the tougher questions. Have a look at the series. 442, 485, 530, 577, question mark. Now, uh, look at the first number of the series, 442. Can you relate it to some of the, any square, any perfect square? Look at the squares chart and see, is there a number close to 442 there? Yes, we have 441, which is the square of 21. So can we say that 442 is 21 square plus 1? Surely. Look at, now look at the second number of the series, 485, which is nothing but 22 square plus 1. The next number, 530, is 23 square plus 1. The next number is 24 square plus 1. So your answer should be 25 square plus 1, that is 626. Now, that wasn't an easy question, but in the exam, definitely you can get questions like these. Now, how would you pick these questions? For that, you have to remember squares up to 30 and cubes up to 10. Let's take another question. 63, 124, 215, 342, question mark. Now, let's look at the first term of the series, 63. 63 can be related to 8 square. It is 8 square minus 1. The next term, 124, can it be related to a square? Yes, it can be related to 11 square. 11 square is 121. So 120, 11 square plus 3. But the third term, that is 215, cannot be related to any of the squares because it is not close to any of the squares. So I think we are going in the wrong direction. Let's change our thought process and let's look at the series something like this. 63 can be 4 cube minus 1. 124 can be 5 cube minus 1. 215 is 6 cube minus 1. And 342 is 7 cube minus 1. So this series was on cubes and not on squares. So the answer would be 8 cube minus 1, that is 511. So that was all about questions on difference multiples, squares and cubes. Now have a look at this series. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, question mark. Uh, what are these numbers? Can you see a property common to them? Yes, all of them are prime numbers. So this series is nothing but a series based on a property of a number that is prime numbers. So there can be some more variety of questions also like this. Let's see what they are. 